10 to 5. Time to hear from Aaron Boone now as he talks to the media. And Meredith and the manager's report brought to you by GEICO. Aaron, Corey Kluber obviously wasn't helped out by the errors, but it didn't seem as though he was nearly as sharp as he was his first time out. What did you think was the issue for Kluber yeah, this afternoon? I'm not... A I actually thought stuff wise, he was pretty good and maybe, maybe ticked up a little bit. Um, you know, a couple plays not being behind him led to a really long inning there. And, and obviously, you know, once right, you perfect. get up in the mid thirties, there, pitch count in that inning, it was really just kind of ran out of, you know, and, you know, he's a Rosarena hits right. the ball That's just ball. out of the reach, almost a double play ball. I think just a couple of things that didn't really go his way today. Uh, led to really just a really yeah. tough long inning for him. But I, I thought stuff-wise, and, you know, I have to see it a little bit more, but I thought stuff-wise he was good. Absolutely. Is it frustration to see some of the defensive m miscues there early in the game? <clears throat> yeah, I mean, you know, uh, the, the ball to third, tough play getting around that, you know, EJ kind of just with our situation last minute go over to third mm -hmm. even though he's very accustomed to do that you know it's kind of a tough on the run play and then you know the pop-up the long run it, it's a really difficult play obviously ones that we expect to make but um yeah it's frustrating to have an inning like yeah. that especially after we we put together some good at bats yeah, to take the game back we go next to ken david go ahead ken and the, the standard caveat that it's one game, it's game seven. But just because of how intense things were with you guys last year, were you hoping to you know to send more of a, a message in this opening game, you know, New Year and, uh, you know, just uh, against these guys? I mean, we always want to send a message, you know. We, we always want you to know who, who you're playing. And so, but, you know, the message is sent throughout the year as far as, with our play and, and we have to play consistent and play well. And if we do that, we'll be the team we expect to be. So, um, you know, I don't really get that caught up into, you know, making a statement here uh, in one game. And what did you, obviously the, the third and then you, you had the four batter run uh, uh, with, the, with all, I'm sorry, your first four runs, but what did you think of the, the heading overall against uh, Hill and the, and the relievers? Uh, it was uh, uh, really good. Waiter legging one out, you know, um, to get it going with all with two outs. And, and obviously, DJ smokes the ball, Stanton going the other way, and then Hicksie really getting into one. It's good to see us string together some at bats like that to, to put together a really good inning, um, you know, but obviously weren't able to do enough there and then just didn't do enough. Uh, to hold them down. They, they put a lot of good at bats. They hit some balls hard against us, um, you know, found some holes. Um, you know, they had, a, they had a good day offensively. Thanks, sir. Mm -hmm. We go next to Marley Rivera. Um, hi, Aaron. Can you please walk us through the decision of placing uh, Rochella on the COVID uh, list and, and then um, obviously a scratching him from the lineup? Yeah, he just wasn't feeling well before the game. I mean, you know, probably in a reaction, you know, the vaccines. Um, you know, we had a number of guys yesterday not a not a large number necessarily, but a number of guys that just were feeling a little bit under the weather yesterday. Gio was one of those guys. He actually came in this morning fine. And then once he got rolling a little bit, uh, you know, just kind of had those symptoms a little bit. I just talked to him after the game. He felt he felt good. So hopefully he's back tomorrow. 